Hi, everybody. I wanted to show you something we've been working on for the next version of Concrete that we're pretty excited about. These are production modes and the new site health check report. In the next version of Concrete, when you install Concrete, it actually goes into a mode that we're calling development. You can see that right here. Development mode is for sites that are being worked on in a local development environment. This lets us do things like set the cache to off, um, turn the overrides cache off, do things that will make it much easier to work on a concrete site right out of the gate. This isn't ideal um, for all types of sites. This is really just for sites that you are actively working on in a local development environment. So for this reason, you can of course change this to something else. For content stages, these are sites that are publicly accessible on the internet, probably behind a VPN or in some other kind of protected location. Um, we recommend setting them up as staging sites. Staging options include the ability to add a bar at the bottom of your site that will help your editors know that if they're working on this particular site, they're not actually working on the live site. This can be helpful because it might look exactly like the live site. So. Um, having that little bar at the bottom can be super helpful. Here's what the atomic theme looks like with the staging bar enabled. Um, then also, if you go to the welcome screen, you'll see that your site is in staging mode. You'll get another, uh, you'll get another notice about why you might want to use that or not. The most important option, of course, is production. Uh, setting something to production doesn't actually do anything. It just tells this installation that it is meant to be viewed publicly um, in a public environment. Uh, but you can see when we actually set the site to production, we get a notice. That's because production sites, we need to treat them a little bit differently than development or staging sites. We need to make sure that you're adhering to the best practices. There's a lot of ways to configure your site to give you more information while you're developing it, which is great. But if you leave those settings on in production, you might inadvertently leak information to people that you don't want to have it. So uh, what we have introduced alongside these production modes is the site health check report. And you can see that here. Before I choose whether to skip the tests or run the tests, I'm gonna show you the health section. So let's just cancel out of this. If I go into welcome, you can see I've got this new copy here. I also have this new desktop block for uh, latest site health results. I have not run any reports yet. There's also this new site health section that you can access from up here or from over here. If I click on this, you can see that my site's currently in staging mode. Um, and again, you get another notice as to what that means. And you get three reports here. These reports use the new concrete task system. So, they are extensible. You can add to them over time. We'll have developer documentation for how to add to these yourselves. You can do a lot of pretty exciting stuff with these in the task system that I'll talk about in a little bit. Um, but let's just go over the three that we're shipping with in the next version of Concrete. We've got the check page cache settings and check site production status and find custom JavaScript. This last one is great um, for some of the more highly secured sites that we run. This will go through your site and find all instances of JavaScript that have been added using content blocks, um, custom blocks, um, custom attributes, and some other locations. Um, it's really, really helpful for auditing a site and keeping it clean, especially when there are multiple editors. The check page cache settings determine whether uh, your site is optimally configured to be fast and stable using cache settings in the best possible way. Finally, the check site production status report scans your site to determine whether it is configured to work well in a production environment. This is the report you should run for sites that are in production to make sure that you haven't missed a setting, that they're configured to be fast, uh, they're configured to be secure. Uh, you could run that here. You could also run it when you change production um, here. This is what you will run if you click this button right here. So let's, let's run it. So now you see, while it's running this, I've got this yellow alert up here. That's because we have changed the site to production, but we uh, have not run a test yet. Now the test is completed, and we failed our production status test, uh, which is why this is red. And uh, let's see what happened here. So here, if I click through, you can see the results of my, my test. If I click back, there's also this new site health section in the reports section of the dashboard. That's what we're seeing here. Uh, the check site production status has failed. And so we can, uh, let's check our findings here. Um, the first big one is debug error output is set to detail. 
Um, if you know what that means, you know you do not want this showing in production. Uh, it shows lots and lots of information about your sites um, to anyone who happens to stumble upon errors. So very useful for local development, very bad for production. Um, file override records are not cached. All of these findings will link over to where you can change the things. So um, super useful there. Another example of a test is the check page cache settings here. Let's run this one. So again, this doesn't impact whether the, this red banner happens. That banner only hooks into the check site production status. Um, you can see this one's looking a little bit better. My result score is a 70. That's because file override records are cached, block output caching is enabled. Um, but full page caching is disabled, so that's, that's not great. Let's turn that on. And then let's do one more thing that's kind of interesting. Let's go to the Documents page and go to Caching, and do not cache this page. If we rerun this report, we get a thumbs up. And that's uh, because file overrides records are cached. Everything is cached, and that's great. Um, <clears throat> furthermore, this info finding is useful to us. Um, part of this report, it will enumerate all the places where specific page level caching differs from the overall caching in your site. So very useful for uh, finding places where your editors may have done something um, well-intentioned but potentially disastrous. Finally, let's go through this find custom JavaScript report. If I click this, it's going to run a report and check all of my pages, users, files, express objects for the custom JavaScripts that it can find. And so you can see we found a lot of custom JavaScript throughout our site. We can click through to view more information, but I can also right from here view the content. I can also export the results as CSV. Um, I can do that to all of them. It includes the message, the URL, where to go, and the actual content. And this information can even be emailed when configuring a task. So you can run this task either from the task section of the dashboard or from the console uh, and specify an email to email the results as CSV um, every time it runs. So, you know, if you're a compliance officer, you can set, schedule this to run every three months and just email you and you'll get an up-to-date report on any of these reports, um, which should hopefully make some people's lives much easier. So I hope this has proven useful. This is a feature we're pretty excited about coming in the next version of Concrete. Um, as always, there's uh, heated discussions about this and other features in GitHub, so feel free to come in, find the issue that this is attached to, and let us know what you think about it. As well, uh, we're talking about this in the forums, the Concrete CMS forums, so uh, feel free to get in touch with us there. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hope you enjoyed it.